All right, today we are looking at making a laser cut sleigh here. Um, so, um, we can kind of look at what's going on here. It's just a fancy side piece and a couple pieces on the inside that kind of make it like a, some of the boxes we've created in the past. Some of these guys here, right? So, it's very, very similar to one of these. Let's have a look at this. We're going to have interlocking pieces, but the side pieces are just going to be a little fancier instead of these normal uh, interlocking pieces here. All right, let's jump right in. So, I have a file already going here. So, I have started off with this line here, and I have dimensioned it to be about 3.5 inches, so it's about the right size. And I've just drawn some fun shapes up here, put a little decoration on it, all that stuff. But this is important. Do this first. Do this first. Do this first. So we make sure it's the right size. Um, and then let's just start jumping in here and making the, the bottom part of our sleigh here. Um, the, the rails that it's going to be riding on here. And we'll put some little pieces like so. And maybe I want some more of those. So I'm going to copy that. I'm just going to put that down here, and that's not going to work very well. Let's just put a rectangle here. Putting a rectangle work here too, and we'll make some lines that are going to be like so. All right, maybe I'll do an offset to get my second line there. Looks pretty good. And now curve on the front. Probably want to do a tangent arc. So I want to be tangent to this. Uh, that looks pretty good. And I'm going to offset that also. I'm moving fast, so be f feel free to um, do what I'm doing here. And notice I'm going to match this number to this number over here. So I'm going to put 1, 8. And double check that was yeah, perfectly good. All right, do one more arc here. Boom, boom. And I want that to look kind of fun on the front. There we go. All right, and one more line on the back here to close this off. And it looks like I have something that this should be filled in gray here. So let's see here. Looks like I have some sort of, oh, that looks like it's not quite connecting there. So let's fix that up. Uh, we are going to say extend. Extend that. All right. Looking good. Now let's extrude this. This is our side piece. We only are extruding those. Hey, look at that. It looks pretty good, right? And we'll say this is the thickness of the wood, which should, by now we should know is 0.2. Looking pretty good there. All right. And you know, one more thing I want to do in there before I leave is I want to put some rectangles for the notches that we're going to have in the side box of the box here. So let's put a couple rectangles there. I'm just going to do two nice rectangles that are going to be in line with each other here. Notice I found that point. And I'm dimensioning this one. That should be 0.2, the thickness of the wood. That looks a little big. Interesting. All right. And I'm going to lower that down a little bit. All right, just playing with the shape of things a little bit here. And I'm going to do one more rectangle. That has 0.2. This is the back of the sleigh. And I want this one to be a little bit of an angle. So I'm rotating this one. Mm -hmm. All right, just put a little angle on that. Kind of just eyeballing everything here. All right. Looks good. All right. So, push OK. There we go. All right. Next pieces. Let's do a new sketch on this bottom surface. And let's 
use this rectangle and this rectangle, and we're going to draw a rectangle in a second here. It's going to be a little bit bigger. Maybe like, uh, yeah, that looks pretty good. It's kind of up to you a little bit. I'm going to put a center line on that so I can reflect things in a little bit here. Make that a construction line. All right, and you can see what I got going on there, right? Okay, so let's hide this for a second. Let's extrude some things. Oh, not quite ready to extrude. I need, I need a line. I'm just gonna get real fast here. We're doing this real fast. And we want to simplify some things. So we're going to trim some stuff here, get rid of these lines. This is going to be the solid part. That line went away, so we're going to add that back again. All right, and we're going to do a mirror. Mirror over this line, and those, and those, and those. All right, we're going to say OK. We're going to extrude this now. Now I got this little pattern going. I'm going to extrude this and this. That one didn't show up for a second there. All right, point two. I'm cruising here. I know I'm going super fast, but we can now see what this is starting to look like here, right? It's filling in that gap there, right? And there's going to be the bottom of it. And all right, so we're doing this really fast. So we are going to make the back side now. So let's do a new sketch for this back piece on this little piece right there. And we're going to use this surface and this surface. Oop, that's not what I wanted. I'm going to use that surface and that line. There it is. All right. And let's hide these parts for a second here. All right. So we are going to make one more piece, and it's going to go well, something like this. This line somewhere doesn't really have to be exact. We're getting kind of close there. This is just for decoration. And we will Let's use that point because that's the center there. We're going to use that as a reflection point here in a little bit. This is going to there. All right, and I got my line. So now we got half of it here. Now we're cooking. So let's hide some pieces here. I know that got a little messy there. Don't worry about that stuff on the bottom. We got a line like so. And this is going to be our construction line. That's the center mirror line. And we are going to reflect some things over this line. I'm going to reflect all these things, and this one at the bottom. And now I got my back piece of the sleigh. We're going to say extrude this. And now you can see this, this, and don't forget that piece there. I'm going to say new piece. Thickness is 0.2 for the what? wood we're using and new piece looking good all right here we go all right so there I have the sleigh all right let's hide that sketch there is there interesting all right we don't need to really put the other one on the other side right now you can go ahead and export this and cut it out save as DXF save as DXF for this piece and this piece right you're gonna have to make two of the side pieces but Bingo, bingo. Um, obviously, we did this real fast. You are welcome and encouraged to make a nicer version 
like one of these you see over here. Take your time. You can put extra little seats in there using the same idea for how we make this, this back piece. You can make all your little seats first for all the little people that are going to sit in the sleigh as they go through the icy wilderness of the wonderland of the winter. Enjoy. Bye.